bottom just a little bit. The tops are usually pretty tight. We do all the toms usually by ear. But like right. the kicks we do, we use the tension watch and all that. So where we can uh, get those pretty equal. Right. And the snare, yeah, crank out of it. So he's got a, a couple of muffle pads in the uh, kicks. He uses two in each one. Just keep them velcroed into the bottom of the kick and as close to the head as possible. Though the toms are all open, um, the only one that gets any kind of muffling is maybe you'll get about a small little strip of tape about that long on the snare. Yeah, the sample pads just for intro, outro, and like uh, some of the interludes between the songs. He does have the uh, rhythm watch, but he doesn't like actually like have the click anywhere. He yeah. just watches the light you know, just to like set the tempo for the song. Right. We're all set. I love the finish. I think it looks awesome, really. It's. Uh, it's got a nice attack to it. I have a, a mic inside the kick drum, and it's, it's uh, closer to the batter, like the beater had more than normal, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, getting the kick, both kick drums to be the same, the same sound, um, is pretty much the biggest challenge. I'm definitely drums. part stereotypical drummer, you know, right. and I have no problem with that because that's what I that's am. What you I'm, do, yeah. I'm a heavy metal drummer, you know. That's what I. That's what I. That's the music I love. That's what I've always loved to play. However, I love just being a drummer. Period, which yeah. is why I'm. I'm so into other kinds of music aside from what I play. Yeah. Um, so when I'm home, I still have to keep my metal chops up because. I don't think I can take a month off and then be ready to go out on the tour. Yeah. This next time around, I really would like to spend a little bit more time trying to just work on some different basic jazz independence yeah. and stuff like that, just to maybe just make me think outside the box a little bit in terms of you know how I phrase things and stuff, you know, because we're gonna start writing a new album. So I need some sort of influence to to take you somewhere. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you know, as an artist, you you hope that at least each album you'll evolve in some some way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. You do what your body tells you to sometimes. The days of having a kit, like my old days when the kit started over here and ended over here <laughs> and was up here, those are those days are gone. And a lot of it too was even with my doctor, you know, got to bring things where you're not stretching for stuff and mm -hmm. bring symbols lower so you're not, you know, you're not extending that shoulder up. The normal snare drum that I use is a bell brass of the some Warlord. sort. I'm using the Warlord now. I used the six and a half for a couple of years. I used the five and a half for a year. Mm -hmm. I, I think the bell brass is the best snare drum made. Period. Yeah. I have three of them, and I I, I love every one of them because they just they all have a different characteristic, but they're all just balls is the only yeah. word. <laughs> it's just, they're, they're just they're the, the mightiest snare drum that that, that you can get. They're real specific sounding drums because they don't sound like either one of those two prior kids. Yeah. They don't sound like the Maple, they don't sound like the Birch for, for given reasons. With the Toms, I'm still I'm still experimenting. So yeah. now knowing knowing that they respond better to a lower pitched uh, tuning, I want to go home and try different Remo heads with the drums to see if I can discover another potential that these these drums have. Because I've only done two tours with this kit. And I really, I really think that I haven't really discovered its full potential yet. Mm -hmm. um, the bass drums I've got those those locked in, and they, yeah. and they sound great because they, they have they have the nice low end punch that I'm looking for, but they still have the attack. Right. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. 